and we're back. Um, this this technology thing is interesting. We have Ronald Hunt with us today. Do you prefer to call be called Ron or Ronald? Because I didn't know. Ron, Ronald. I'm I'm happy with either. All right, because you have Ronald J. Hunt, which is you know very significant to have. Very been. formal, isn't that very formal? It goes against like what you your humor, I think, but it it's a nice. It's a nice uh, mix, you know, a nice blend. So uh, it, it, it's 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 one of these amusing things in life where I can get dressed up in a tuxedo, but I like to put on my playful T-shirts and do my lives as well. Yes, and then you got the ponytail, or you could wear the hair down. You know, you got you got a lot of variety. Absolutely, and depending on the audience uh, or the challenge, we sometimes change up our look. Of course. Yes, of course. Now you are a man of many multifacets because I remember seeing you for the first time on the 100X community on the 414. You're getting hot seated and you they, they called you, what did they call literally, you? Literally hot seated because, because we were talking about hot flashes. Uh, that yes, time. yes. And um, you earned a title from it. <laughs> I do. I, I am the menopause guy. There, there are four different websites where I've helped, I help women with their menopause symptoms. Wow. It has, what I ended up doing, though, I forced women to up their game. And they, they've competed against me and helped more women than I have. And I think that's a fantastic thing. That is important because a lot of people don't know, myself included, I'm 52. So I'm just on the edge, you know? <laughs> we, we, like to, we like to call this period perimenopause. Ah. This is the time before where if you increase your exercise and refine your diet, your menopause is gonna be much easier. Just what I love to hear, exercise and refine my diet. <laughs> uh, sorry, the, the, I, I, I have to go to the gym, you do too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, Elisha's on here. She says, Hot Flash is your, you might be my guy. I'm like, Elisha, you should write a song about this, Hot Flashes. <laughs> I, I I tell you, I've I've helped people in six continents with their menopause. It's such an honor. A um, uh, little bit of my backstory. Uh, my mom had a tough time through menopause. My first wife had a hard time through menopause. Uh, my girlfriend in between, I ended up being the guy that all the women came to at the parties wow. because their husbands were being, their husbands were pulling their hair out because they couldn't help their wives. That's and doctors true. refused to really help the women because different symptoms are handled in different ways. And if they want, if they say estrogen ther uh, therapy, there are 16 studies that say that ex estrogen therapy is bad. If they give them vitamin B6, which is a wonder drug for most of you women, wow. take some vitamin B6 as long as you don't have an allergy to it. That's yeah. going to help you a lot. Cutting down on caffeine, unbelievably uh, helpful for women. But because there's always the possibility of one of these techniques not working, the doctors were hesitant to prescribe anything for fear that they wouldn't look like the expert in the field mm -hmm. wow. so women have been told every woman goes through it suffer through it and it's like no you don't have to suffer through menopause that's my message hey who knew we we're gonna talk about this this morning i have women on here you know elijah says hi does jumping on a trampoline a few times a week count someone else is totally true i live four times a week and eat pretty clean i'm sailing through perimenopause and someone else said very lucy said very true i exercise need healthy and have not had symptoms so guys that's the hardest thing for me i got minus 80 percent on my assessment for um exercise <laughs> and my husband is 64 and he's totally exercise and health <laughs> It's it's sometimes interesting how, how couples have, have different relationships with different things that they dread. And I, I tell all my women and I tell all my guy friends, I don't want to go to the gym. Once I get there, I'm fine. But yeah. nobody wants to go to the gym. There is something better that everybody wants to do with their <laughs> life for that hour, hour and a half. But if you want to live longer and enjoy your life, you got to do these things. Uh, it's really important uh, as you age out to define what you want out of your life. And those goals, uh, and we see it all the time in challenges. So how many people go into a challenge 
and they've got imposter syndrome or, they're, or they, they don't think they're the expert in the field. Nobody, almost nobody is 100% expert in the field until they're there for five years. But if you know more than the person that you're trying to help who was in your position a couple years ago, serve them. Yeah. Good and done beats perfect and unfinished every single time. Yeah. And, you know, having a coach um, for an area that you struggle in, you know, helps you get something accomplished. I'm learning that as I just became a coach and I had practice sessions. And as I did, people, people coach me and I'm like getting things accomplished as I'm working with these practice sessions with helping other people get their coaching. I'm like, wow, there's something about this. <laughs> it, it's it's just like psychology. All the psychologists and all the psychiatrists went into that field because they wanted to help themselves first. Mm -hmm. So welcome to the coaching profession, by the way, Stacey. Yeah. It's very yeah. competitive, but you're a smart woman and you know to niche down. Yes, I'm learning to niche and niche and niche and niche and niche because I'm Canadian. <laughs> I, I, I grew I grew up with some Canadians, so I, I was a little I, that niche and niche sort yeah. of pronunciation has always been on the top of my mind. Mm -hmm. But I am never afraid to do a one day challenge, a three day challenge, a five day challenge on a topic that I've I've certainly done my share, and I'm not done yet. Yeah. I love teaching people. I was a teacher in one of my other lives. I was a voice coach for my school for years and years and years. So I know how to criticize people with a smile and love mm. to, to get them to accomplish that task that they know they want to accomplish. Yeah, and yeah. You're going to do the same thing, Stacey. As, as, as a life coach, it's amazing. Uh, the things that you can do, one of the things that you need to do is you need to put your prices up front. When, when you're advertising or on my whiteboard as people walk into my office, my price is on the wall. That's a Before good idea. Before I even meet with them. Yeah. Because, because they will get so much out of your first consultation that they will already have pre-sold themselves. Wow. And I agree with that because I heard someone on uh, Clubhouse the other day say, I'm going to charge you this for this much. I'm going to charge you this. Um, at the end of my challenge offer, and I'm going to charge you this for my mastermind. And I'm like, oh, that's very good. You know, that's perfect. My, my one day challenge. We laid it all out for people about halfway through because it was uh, we it was it's a seven day challenge packed into an hour on Clubhouse, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, I, and we were streaming somewhere else as well. Wow. But we were we broke down the seven days in one hour for people. Wow. So somewhere around four, day four, I turned to my partner in the challenge and I said, tell them we, we've shown everybody how to do it yourself. There are going to be people listening to us today or catching the replay mm -hmm. who want us to do it with them or for them. Yeah. This is what it looks like. Yeah. And 497, 797, 1797. And then I said, I, I put on my biggest smile and I said, we know that some of you are going to take the 497 package. So in their mind, they're already buying that package. Wow. Yeah. All that's right. True. So that's yeah. that's that's a piece of clothing closing that Pedro didn't teach you. So yeah. so if anyone's listening to this today, pay a little bit of attention through this little period. You're yeah. going to buy that package. You're going to we're going to produce that first social media video for you hmm. and plan out your first five. And if we see that you haven't posted your second one in two weeks, we're going to let you upgrade mm -hmm. to our 1797 package where yeah. we do everything for you. Yes. Yeah. Wow. That's good. Aren't we? We're helping people. We're yeah. not selling people. And yeah. everybody out there, if you present it in that way that, hey, we've got an introductory package. If it's not working out for you, we'll let you upgrade. Yeah. It's so yeah. powerful. And why do I buy? And why do you buy? Because I need that. Like I'm working on, you know, writing right now. And um, Sue Sundstrom in this group, I'm going to be interviewing her as well. I, I'm help, getting help through mentoring with her writing a book, you know, and there's other people in this group that are doing that. But I've walked, I've been to like five of her challenges. And, you know, I told her, don't worry, even if I'm not involved or, you know, there's people in here we're working on it, but we're taking time, but I know what I need and I'm processing. I know what you're going to offer. 
And when I'm ready, you know, I finally stepped in, you know, and it was like in the midnight hour, but I knew it ahead of time, but I had to get to that place of I'm willing to invest in myself and I'm willing to, you know, take this offer and, and work with it and do what I want to accomplish. When I'm selling business financing, the first thing I ask, I ask people, what's the most important thing in your business? And they'll go, oh, our, pri our proprietary process, or uh, we've got a great sales team. I said, no, the most important thing in your business is you. Yes. So you have to be investing in you all the time. Now, investing does not always mean cash, everybody. You can take an online challenge for free. You can take, you can go to YouTube, honest to goodness. You can go to YouTube and learn anything. Mm -hmm. If you don't, I, I, we were at the gym the other day. I, I, I get my wife to the gym once a week. She hates it. She doesn't, <laughs> she doesn't mind when we get there. She does not mind when we get there. So there, see, see how that works? Yep. But I got her a iPad to replace her iPad because she drops iPhones from like, the top of buildings. It's just a thing. <laughs> yeah. But, but right. I mean, here's your choice as a husband. Do you, do you roll your eyes or do you buy her a new device? And yeah. I choose tranquility in my relationships. <laughs> because that is everything uh, yeah. to have, to have that partner on your side is everything. So, yeah. so Instagram did not like her iPad. Wow. Or, uh, one of one one of the one one of the videos wasn't playing properly, and and the expand portion was 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 hidden. So she goes, "It's not, it's broken. It's not working." And I'm like, "Honey," I said, "Here here's my question to you." And I held up my my Android, and I I squeezed the bottom, and I said, "How do I resize a video on iPad six? And it you tap it twice. So mm -hmm. I said, "Tap the screen twice." And she taps the screen twice, and of course it resizes yeah. and everything's perfect. And I said, sweetness, I said, you know how to YouTube. You are the YouTube queen. You can ask Siri for, for help when you don't know something. You uh -huh. don't have to get frustrated. We live in amazing times. Uh -huh. And if I can't help somebody, I now know somebody who can, someone who's run a challenge in the group. I've got, I've got, I've got a guy who can get you into a podcast. He's a genius and he's reasonable. Mm -hmm. So if that's something that people want to do, you're writing a book. I'm going through a, a book writing funnel with somebody else right now. Uh, will I be published? No, but I'm going to repurpose all that content into my emails. Yeah. So you everything that you do, if you do a Zoom right now, uh, it, there is a video editor I have for you who will charge you $40 to cut it up into 30 slices that you can put in your emails, that you can put in your, that you can schedule for your social media. Instagram. It's silly not to do it. Don't ever feel bad. And this is one of the things that I tell people because I coached challenges last year too. I helped a couple, three people run challenges. Yeah. If only one person shows up or, or drops off, yeah. keep going yeah because that's content and once you have accumulated content you can edit it it's yours and you can improve from that mm -hmm. so never ever ever let that imposter syndrome stop you in the middle of accomplishing what you need to accomplish it is such an unbelievable goal to launch a challenge you all see it yeah. half the people who were in 100x did not launch a challenge yeah and it drives me crazy. Some of them spent 10 grand on his upgrade and yeah. it didn't launch a challenge. And it's like, you need to get value back for what you spend in this life. Yeah, that's true. And you know what? I actually attended 60 challenges, did all the homework in six months. And I've gone to over a hundred challenges. I went to challenges where there were five or six people, sometimes two or three. And some of those challenges I'm still resonating of how my life was changed and impacted by something that was said that triggered in me healing. So don't even like, even if you see a challenge and you go in there and there's like one, two, five people, you don't know why you went in there and what might be there for you. And so give it a chance. 
you know, yes, you need to launch your challenge. I see Facebook user, you have to click on the thing above um, in our uh, live so that you can get your name on there. But yes, um, and Taffany says challenges are amazing. Now, Ron, I want to ask you, um, what makes, what drives you? Because I see this when I first connected with you, you gave me a $1 opportunity to learn. Um, yeah. I, I, I've done $1 opportunity. Yes. I like the $1 model because you've got their credit card. Yeah. Once someone gives you that first dollar, that is harder for some people than to write to them to give you that second uh, check for $500. It's true because like $1, like you're like, should I, should I do this? You know, but Ron, I want to ask you what makes you want to help people like this? Because I think you've been doing that all your, your years from what I'm hearing. And, I want people to understand that you're not just, you know, helping the women with, you know, the stage of life. Um, you also have a lot of technical, you love to teach. And I see you doing very many different things. So could you highlight a few, tell me first, what drives you to do this before you even got into challenges? What, what drives you to help people? I'm, I, I feel that I've had a blessed life. Um, I went through an experience where I could have died wow. and, I went through a horrific divorce, which caused the experience where I could have died. Wow. So I had people who were strangers to me who helped me through that period of my life. Wow, God bless them. And this is all just payback. But I did help people. I was the go-to guy back mm -hmm. in the day when, when, when I had all my hair. <laughs> I would have, I would, I would be recommending different doctors to different people who had, you know, cancer. I would send them to Sloan Kettering because I was from New York City. Or, you know, oh, no, you go to Montefiore for, uh, for cardiac or you go here for this. I knew all that stuff. I had always accumulated knowledge. My mm -hmm. father had a photographic memory, so, and so do I. Now I've got what is called a Rolodex. Nobody in the audience knows what a Rolodex is. <laughs> I do. <laughs> But but back in the day, back in the day before iPhones, everybody uh, yeah. sit down and and pull and pull up a barrel. All right. Yeah. <laughs> we used to keep people's contact information on a like a three by five index card, which clipped into a device, and it was alphabetical. So we could look up anybody's number at any time. It was almost as fast, and I would say it's faster sometimes. <laughs> But it, but by writing down their name and number, it encoded in our brains. Yeah, it's true. There, this is one of the things where I insist people take notes. And um, when I help people coach their challenges, I always introduce people to a little productivity and a little growth mindset right at the beginning of a challenge. Because if you have those two things, you are going to prosper. Yes. Yeah. And I used to, I used to be the walking phone book for everybody. And addresses and birthdays. I know like so many, I have such a big family and now it's so easy. I don't even know my one son changed his phone number and I'm like, what is his phone number? Like, th this is our times. Like, I'm like, what would I do if there was an emergency and I l lost the number, so, phone, you know, like. So, so what, what I'm concentrating on recently, my, I've niched my business consulting down. Awesome. I love my business consulting. I still have a couple of clients who refuse to leave me. God bless them. Mm -hmm. But right now I finance startup business and entrepreneurs when, because I love hearing about your dreams mm -hmm. and what can, what would funding do for your challenge? What would funding do for your education? What would funding do? What would you buy with it that would make you back more money and make this a real business for you? Mm. And we fund, and almost nobody funds startups and entrepreneurs. We can fund, uh, I, I'm working with, a, with an inventor. Uh, I'll blow your mind for just a second. He's come up with a windmill, a wind turbine that is 37 times more wow. efficient that, than what's on the market. It's wow. a $10 billion project. Ooh. I'm C I'm COO of that company. Oh wow, that's awesome. Right. So so that I so that I'm running around helping people for a hundred bucks, you know, it's just it's because I love to do it. Yeah. That's awesome. I love I love your diversity. You're a very intelligent, brilliant man. So I just honor you in that. And what what are you working on this? Yeah, hold on, hold on. Make sure we record we're recording, right? Oh, we're, yeah. we're, 
<laughs> yeah, I, I want that. I want that on a testimonial, Stacey, because you took 60 challenges last year and you were saying that to me. Yeah. I, I'm I'm honored. Oh wow. And and you know what? You didn't pay me to say that. <laughs> I did not. I did not. I, I paid you with my time. <laughs> That's you always right. pay with something, Stacy. Yes, you do time or money. Um, so this week you're doing a, I see you're active on Clubhouse. Um, so this week you're doing a one day, but you always have something going because you had something like two weeks ago you were doing. So what? tell us what you're doing this week. Uh, well, uh, this week is about getting people to go live. Uh, again, this is this ties in with the not launching your challenge. How many people... You've been, uh, Stacy. how many people go live in your group? In this group? Yeah. Not very many. Not very many. They'll, they'll, they'll put in a produced video here and there, you know, the, the nice graphics. Going live is where the algorithm gods will bless you because yeah. they want people to stay on their channels and staying on, your cha on their channels means watching videos. It yeah. sucks people in. They love lives. Yeah. I, I mean, you can see today, uh, people just pop in, pop in, pop in. It's mm -hmm. amazing. Yeah. You got to do it. but And it's not that hard. And that's what this week's challenge was. Day one, who is your why? And stand up in the mirror and don't even turn on the phone. <laughs> who yeah. are you and who do you serve? Yes. And you do it five times. Yeah. Day two, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. And by day six, guess what? You're pretty good. Yeah. And if you're good enough on day six because you're recording, but you're not releasing it yet, you can you can let that recorded one go out as a video on your channels. Yeah. On day seven, you go live. That's it. And you're not going to be perfect. But what what does the T-shirt say, Stacy? What does the T-shirt say? Uh, good and done beats perfect and unfinished every time. Yes. Yes. Am I better live today than I was three years ago when I started? Heck yeah. When Facebook sends, <laughs> sends me that video from three years ago, it's half laughing and half cringing. But I would not be as great presenting today, even though I've taught for years and years and years, if I didn't put in my reps. So mm -hmm. put in your reps, do your practice, smile. <laughs> remember that you're helping people. You don't have to be perfect. You just need to be able to help people where you were. <laughs> My husband just crawled across the floor and served me. <laughs> oh, what a good husband. Oh, my goodness. I, I peel oranges for my wife because she says she's too busy at work to, to mean, peel an 20, orange. 28 years on Saturday. I'm just laughing. Oh, isn't that wonderful? <laughs> He's like so funny. She just walked in. Thank, well, and I have to thank you for, you have such wisdom to share, there, like there's such wealth in what you bring. So guys, go and check out what Ron is offering, you know, follow him. Like he's going to bring very unique things to you. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to give, I'm going to have an ask because I haven't sold anything today. Okay. If you could go to LinkedIn and go to Coach Ronald Hunt and, um, you know, connect with me. I'm trying to build that up to 500 people because magic things happen. Just like on Instagram, when you get 10,000 followers on LinkedIn, magic things happen when you get to 500 yeah. people. Yes. So please, everybody, if you would be so kind, that's the only thing I'm asking today. But if you do have any friends who need to go live, yes, we'd be happy to help them, of course. Yeah. And you know, the lady that was Jill yesterday said that a woman from this group hadn't gone live and then she went into her group and then she went live for the first time and she helped two other ladies go live. So, and I, I love for people to go live in this group, but I want to stay everything focused on challenges. I, I don't want lives of, you know, you know, the personal, like a 30 day live, like that you're doing. I, I want challenges for this group. This group is about challenges. So I have to delete if it's not because the feed is so full. We have so many amazing things we can miss in here. That's why I made the list. So we want people to go live for your challenge and, and to encourage people in coming to the challenge, to being a part of challenge um, that you're bringing. So thank you, Ron, for today. I, I'll have to have you come back on again. 
um, for insight in the. Well, here, here's what I here's what I tell people. I said whenever you have a time, I, I because I was just on the local news yesterday, and yeah. I'm getting all this love. I'm getting all this love from from people over the age of sixty, not my core audience, but God bless them. <laughs> uh, <laughs> If you have a subject and you need someone to talk, just yeah. give me a day's notice and I will I will know enough to be able to help your people. See, that's incredible. That's a gift. That's a gift. Well, bless you, Ron. And thank you for today. I'm so glad we got this figured out in StreamYard. Thank you, everybody, for who came to encourage Taffney. You're making me laugh. <laughs> and everyone else was on here. Some of you, I didn't see your name. So make sure you click on Facebook uh, on the StreamYard next time I go live. Thank love you for everything you do, Stacey. We love you. Love you too. Bye-bye.